Do you need a graphite iron shaft or steel iron shafts? Today, Taylor and I are gonna help you make that decision. Taylor put some shots with a graphite and a steel shaft, and we'll show you all the TrackMan data and help you make that decision. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined today by Taylor Ledwine at the Second Swing at Minnetonka Tour Fan. And a pretty basic one today, Taylor, but I think an important one for a lot of players that might be making a decision with new irons. Um, it is a graphite versus steel shaft iron test today. So um, we've got 2019 P790 irons. Um, I have the steel KBS Tour regular, and you've got the UST recoil graphite regular. So um, two different models of, of shafts, uh, both regular flex, but the there's a big difference from steel to graphite. Mm -hmm feel, performance, launch, things like that, that we're gonna find out today. Yeah, so typically when we're kind of fitting people, I mean, granted we do it over the phone, we ask a lot of questions like, um, you know, if you like a heavier shaft, lighter yeah. shaft, uh, if you're hitting the ball high, low, average compared to others. So if you're typically hitting the ball low, we will recommend graphite, just helps you get the ball in the air a little bit higher. Yeah. Um, it's also lighter than steel, so some people like that, you know, some people have to have that if they've had injuries or stuff like that. Um, so they're both great options. It's just mm -hmm. whatever works for your game. Yeah, and that, that UST recoil is a little bit of a heavier graphite shaft, but mm -hmm. still nonetheless, there is a difference in about, about 20 grams in, um, in weight. So that will be lighter for you. But and then, like you mentioned, you're kind of predicting that the graphite shaft will maybe help the ball launch a little bit higher into the air here. And yeah. I guess I am curious as well on dispersion because that kind of then depends on the player's swing. You know, some players mm -hmm. respond better to a graphite shaft and some respond better to a steel shaft. It does just depend on the, you know, the speed and the tempo of that swing. Yeah, I'm I'm interested to see kind of what the dispersion is going to be like <laughs> today. All right, so let's start. We'll have you hit, well, actually, we're going to go with 10 uh, shots with each one. We'll mm -hmm. start with the steel shaft here and then we'll go to the graphite. Sounds good. That was a good ball. Yeah, that was better. Pretty consistent shot shape there. Whew. Makes sense why mine, <laughs> mine are not a standard lie. Ooh, Ooh, consistently left. I feel like that was hit further though. That was hit well. Yep. Way better swing. Okay. All right, so Taylor, five shots in with each here. Um, mm -hmm. First, I kind of want to get your feedback on just any differences in the feel of the two shafts, because we do have different materials used there. So um, was, you know, I think the, the general kind of expectation of graphite is maybe a little bit more like free flowing and smoother to, to swing. Did you feel that? Yeah, I feel like obviously it's lighter. I mean, yeah. we talked about 20 grams, but I can just, I can feel the club more in my swing and kind yeah. of the movement. Like I can pretty much know before I hit it that it's not going to be good because you can just feel like the shaft yeah. move a little bit more. Sure. Um, but other than the weight and maybe a little bit more feel with the graphite, don't really notice a huge difference. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, it's always kind of, uh, you know, like I, I mentioned, like the feedback during the swing with the graphite and lighter flex type of shaft, you can kind of feel it and you know, almost on your downswing and you may contact y'all that balls way left and way right. Right. Um, and that's just, I think that's typical for any graphite shaft. Mm -hmm. um, but we do have some, some stuff to talk about quickly here after five shots. We've got dispersion map on the left. We've got numbers on the right. I'll expand the numbers here quick. Um, so we can start there. So not a ton of difference through, through five swings. Um, no. We've got, you know, a slightly faster swing with graphite probably due to that that, that weight you referred to, mm -hmm. but nothing major, uh, but more efficient strikes though. So um, probably a little bit more energy able to be connected with the center of that, that club face. Yep. So resulting in a little bit more spin, you're getting a more distance, um, launch is more or less the same. And then we're seeing the height is just slightly, a little bit higher with the, with the graphite shaft. But in terms of the numbers, not a ton of difference here really. No, I think it'll be interesting once we kind of hit all of them to see the final difference yeah. in kind of speed um, and carry and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Not so much total, because like we've said in previous right. videos, that's not quite as important. Yeah. Um, 
but like the launch or the land angle and height kind of as yeah. we get finished what the difference mm -hmm. will be Right, yeah, because I think there was one too here with, um, I think there was one with the, the uh, yeah, this shot here, I think it mm -hmm. was. If we were to take out that, for example, it's sort of a miss it with the graphite. Things change a little bit, um, you know, but I think we still have, you know, five more with each. Let's hit those. We'll see if, you know, what we've seen so far, if they stay close together, mm -hmm. if we do see more of a difference show up, um, but I'm curious. And then we'll, one thing we'll touch on quick too, dispersion here. Yeah. So not a, again, not a ton of difference here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think your draw is a little bit more maybe consistent, if you will, with the steel shaft. Right. Um, and then again, I think we have, I guess here's maybe a, a quote unquote miss hit too, or something that wasn't quite the same as your other shots, bring it down here, but you're a little bit more consistent too. These four are kind of close together in distance here. Whereas the five with the graphite, a little bit a little more spread out maybe. More all so, over the place. So. Yeah, so there's, you know, and we'll talk about all this at the end, but I think some, tiny tiny trends maybe showing up already mm -hmm. here so yeah all right five more let's uh well, why don't we start with the graphite since you have that here and then okay. we'll go back to steel sounds good oh yeah the ball is melted Whew. that was a lot better Ooh, 103 feet in the air on that one. Wow. All right, so Taylor, 10 shots now mm -hmm. with uh, the steel and the graphite each. Um, once again, I think you made a comment as you were hitting again, you can kind of really started to feel the kind of the extra weight almost of the steel shaft as you were swinging it. Yeah. So. The steel shaft was a lot heavier. I'm yeah. pretty sure it's maybe even a little heavier than mine. So mm -hmm. I was definitely noticing that in the swings. Yeah. Um, just couldn't build up as much speed because mm -hmm. you really can't with a club. That's right. a little bit heavier. So mm -hmm. the graphite was nice in the fact that you could get a little bit more speed and how light it was. So. Yeah, yeah. So we can talk about, I mean, speed wise, you did have half mile an hour faster swing speed with the, um, the graphite shaft. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that seems to be kind of what we, you know, we expected that. And I think that probably happens in fittings here at the store too, where, you know, someone gets, maybe they're trying to make that decision and they'll probably swing the graphite one a little bit faster. And yep. as a result, a little bit more ball speed as, mm -hmm. you know, is, is the result there about a mile per hour. Uh, you hit them both around the same efficiency, one, three, eight. Um, but then we kind of get into some more of these numbers and we, now, we expected maybe bigger differences in like launch and maybe height, for example. Right. Um, but I think we what we saw is the spin is actually pretty similar, about 150 RPM. Uh, the graphite shaft actually spun a little bit less. Mm -hmm. um, the distance numbers are pretty similar. Launch angle, slightly higher with the graphite shaft. So yeah. um, interesting there. And I think, um, I, I mean, it, I, I think we kind of expect it to be a little bit more different, but the results here after 10 shots with each, not a ton of difference. You just notice a lot in feel though. Yeah, so uh, I mean, I would have thought that we would see a little bit more of a dis or difference in mm -hmm. the two launch angles and kind of land angle being a little bit more yeah. high with the graphite. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, even the height, it's three yeah. feet, so nothing too substantial, but right. you definitely can feel the difference in the yeah. two, like I've stated. Um, I think that's probably the biggest difference. Um, the graphite is nice and light mm -hmm. and you can swing faster and build up that little bit more right. speed. Um, I, I like the little bit higher spin with the steel cause, yeah. um, you know, when I'm hitting irons into greens, I'm hoping to get a little bit more right. spin out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but I think you also can feel a little bit more reaction. I want to say like off the club face with the graphite. Yeah. Um, as soon as I would hit a bad one, like I knew instantly or even before yeah. I hit it, that it wasn't going to be good. Right. Right. And you kind of, yeah, that's sort of the feedback you get with the different uh, materials, I guess, mm -hmm. um, involved there. And then we can also bring up the, uh, the map here because, so here's kind of the, the map and you play a steel shaft, um, yeah. but I think there's also some elements that are visible here between graphite and steel where like, um, you know, it, it does depend on the player's swing. Sometimes the, they might need a graphite 
shaft because that will be tighter and their swing will you know kind of fit that better mm -hmm. and then the steel you know what you play i think you know I, there's some elements of consistency here for example let's say this this is kind of a one maybe miss hit right yeah right um so if we take that one out so we'll kind of find that one we'll take it out down here and then we can kind of show the rest of it right it i mean these yeah. are very consistent golf shots in here that dispersion gets really tight mm -hmm. we take out that one miss hit um with the steel and you can see how close together that was for you so in a way the steel shaft i mean again both its spurs are really good right but you see maybe that horizontal kind of north to south your, your distances are a lot more consistent mm -hmm. um with the steel shaft so maybe for you that fit perhaps a tiny bit better and that's why it's in your iron set yeah my thing also like we said before is the spin so i've got that little bit tighter dispersion and yeah i hit you know, a few of the graphite ones a little bit further, but yeah. I'm not getting as much spin, so they're gonna roll out a little bit more. Um, so that's why I go with steel. Yeah. Um, and I really just like the feel of it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like my swing can't get kind of out of out of the realm with how light the graphite is. So it kind of right. keeps me in the same consistency. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think that's one element, especially for a better player like yourself, someone that is competing in some kind of high profile events, like you want as much consistency out of your clubs as possible. and. Mm -hmm. A lighter graphite, uh, you know, shaft is going to maybe bring some other, um, other possible swings or swing tendencies into mm -hmm. play that you would rather eliminate. So, but for the player that's maybe doesn't swing as fast, or maybe a, almost a beginner type player, mm -hmm. or someone that's just trying to improve, improve that might be a mid handicap, looking for distance, looking for ways to launch the ball into the air. Again, in this test, fractional difference yeah. between. The graphite and steel, but you probably, most players will see more launch and more spin with graphite shots. Yeah, typically, um, I think we touched on the beginning when we are fitting. If you are struggling to get the ball a little bit higher than you're looking for, we yeah. typically say graphite's going to help with that. And also, if you're just looking for distance, I mean, it was three yards carry maybe mm -hmm. um, that yeah. you're getting that little bit further. So that is a nice element mm -hmm. for people who are looking to get the distance. Well, golf reserve, you're curious about if a steel or graphite shaft is best for you. You can get fit at second swing, come into the store, hit the shots with a fitter uh, at one of our locations, or you can talk with someone like Taylor over the phone. We have a huge staff of expert master fitters that can consult with you over the phone and help you with that decision. Uh, Taylor, thank you for joining today and hitting the shots and giving your feedback again. Mm -hmm. Really important one, uh, graphite or steel, they make a big difference. And we saw some of that today. Yeah, I think it's a really important decision when you're looking at getting new clubs, so.